When the Minnesota Fighting Vikings released star running back Dalvin Cook earlier this offseason, it, it wasn't much of a surprise. And even though Dalvin had put up prodigious production over the last four years and has been a great leader and a great running back in purple over six, uh, Dalvin's 27, going to be 28, coming off a of shoulder surgery. And you, you sort of understand why the Vikings moved on. And it was no accident before he got released. Uh, they, were, they were featuring running back Alexander Madison, who they re-signed on a two-year deal on you know team promotions and stuff, which usually would have gone... Uh, to Dalvin just by a matter of course, as well as you know, the comments from Kevin O'Connell and Quasi Dope Mensa really hedging their bets, uh, not saying that Dalvin's going to be part of the future going forward. And then it, it seemed like a fait accompli that Dalvin was going to join the Miami Dolphins, his hometown team, and uh, it was uh, syncing up with Mike McDaniel. Uh, they run a lot of outside zone, which is Dalvin's forte, and he could have a couple of great seasons in South Beach and maybe uh, get a little hardware down with the Dolphins, and everyone would be happy right and we thought that that's what it was going to be but then reportedly that there's a contract offer from the Dolphins it's not very high hence why Dalvin hasn't signed at this point and we said at the time there may be a chance it's a small chance but it's a non-zero chance that Dalvin would see the market for what it is it's not very big for uh, veteran running backs, uh, especially with the, the slew of other veteran running backs out there like Playoff Lenny, uh, Kareem Hunt, Ezekiel Elliott, and see his options and then realize that the Vikings and a, a potential pay cut that they were offering before they gave him the cut cut, it makes more sense because he's a leader in that locker room. He already knows the offense. He already knows the personnel. And this has been his home for the last six years. And I, I, I've i been saying all offseason ever since I cut Dalvin, there was always a chance that they could reunited, be reunited, and it feels so good. But enter one Boomer Esiason. Okay, Boomer. Yeah, father of Chris Sims. And he has um, a very popular show, Boomer and Geo, on WFAN uh, in New York. And very dialed in with the Jets, obviously quarterback the team for a number of years. Also, uh, was great with the Bengals back in the day, man. It's good times, but uh, he is a force in New York sports radio. Not really known as a, an NFL insider, but also like he certainly knows the stuff and is buttoned up. And he's you know, he's obviously looking at the Dalvin Cook story from the New York Jets angle, where it does seem like Dalvin's options right now are the Jets with a, a Ron Rodgers, even though they do have Brees Hall coming back, uh, as well as the Miami Dolphins, and also. The fact that they're in the same division, the fact that Dalvin and his agent could be using one against the other for leverage, that's not lost on Boomer. So that's mainly what he talked about. But he had a throwaway line in there where it was clear that this was not the bombshell. So it it really makes me think that this was relayed to him as just a matter of course. So this is what he said, quote, I know exactly what's going on. Dalvin Cook has a $7 million a year contract offer uh, from the Minnesota Vikings right now. I don't want to put words in his mouth, but he hasn't accepted it, and I don't think he really wants to go back there. I think that he wants to play for the Miami Dolphins. Now, initially, I was like everyone else. Like, maybe he just misspoke. Maybe he confused the Minnesota Vikings for Miami Dolphins. But then when he said, I don't think he really wants to go back there, I think he wants to play for the Dolphins, that means 100% he knew what he was talking about, that – however it was relayed to him inside information that the Vikings do have a contract offer on the table. Now uh, just trying to reverse engineer this, the Vikings would have zero benefit if this leaked out. So obviously it's not Quasi and the Vikings. So this is likely from Dalvin's agent and his camp. So just putting that on the table and you would think because this didn't get a lot of traction, even amongst Vikings fans on Wednesdays, this sort of caught me off guard as well, but this is kind of a big deal. This is kind of a massive deal. And the whole thing about Quasi is that he does play his cards close to the chest. And, you know, the Vikings did clear up cap space. And they did uh, save uh, quite a bit of cap space by uh, releasing Dalvin. And if they could potentially get him back at a number that was lower or comparable to what they were initially offering as a pay cut, could it happen? Could it happen? Because Dalvin's contract was the reason why he was let go. He was due a $10.4 million base salary. $2 million of it is guaranteed no matter what. Uh, and then the Vikings absorb cap hits this year of uh, 5.1. And then since he was a post-June first release, a 3.1 uh, in 2024. Now, if uh, the $2 million, uh in, in dead cap this year, if he signs somewhere else for over $2 million, which is likely, then that comes off of the books. And then the, uh, the Vikings would get a $2 million cap rebate in 2024. Uh, that's how that guaranteed salary would, let, would work because it's already charged to the Vikings. 
even though the, the cost hasn't incurred, but you get a re, re, refund or rebate there. But it's entirely feasible if the Vikings resign him. I, I think that it it certainly could be a possibility. And we said this at the time, because back uh, on June 14th, uh, mandatory minicamp, Kirk Cousins said something out of left field, too. So this is from Kevin C. for ESPN, who's not Carl Gershman, who's not. Eyeball emoji. From Kirk Cousins today on recently released Dalvin Cook, quote, I'm excited to see where he goes. I'll always be pulling for him, and I'm kind of optimistically hoping maybe we get him back. Who knows? Maybe there's an outside chance. We'll see, end quote. And I said it at the time, Kirk is not the type of guy who's just going to talk out, out of both sides of his mouth. He, like, he's not going to talk out of school. He's not going to air internal business like that. Uh, he's not going to negotiate through the media. So you could see other teammates uh, potentially. Like, well, you see this a lot where a player gets traded or cut, and then their teammates are saying, oh, why would they do that? Why they do that? Kirk's a company man, so he's going to toe the company line. So it made me think at the time, and I still think that maybe Kirk was privy to some conversations about potentially bringing Dalvin back and the fact that it has been discussed because it, it does make sense because <sighs> – Maybe the Vikings wouldn't have wanted Dalvin at 10.4, but if they can get him back at 7, which is still uh, a significant cap savings, and they were going to incur those dead cap hits from his pro-rated signing bonus anyway, it, it would make sense. Uh, and it would take a, like a long sojourning route to get there, but if you still get there, you're still saving $3.4 bucks against the cap. And, and you still get Dalvin Cook for another year. And, I mean, Dalvin, like we said, I understood why they cut him, and if they do let him go for good... It makes sense. Let go of a player a year too early versus a year too late. But I, I think Dalvin potentially could have some gas up in the tank, especially since that shoulder is now repaired, so it won't be popping in and out like it has been for the last three years. Also, if he has a reduced role, uh, I think that if they cut down on his touches from um, you know 300 and change down to 175 or even 150, and it is a true running back share with Madison and Chandler and King Kenne and Dwayne McBride, that would make some sense. It, keeping Dalvin fresher later in games, later in the season, and uh, he showed last year he still has that home run ability, but you know the runs that where he would he would. Uh, make something out of nothing and churn out a four yard run were being stopped at the line of scrimmage last year or the runs that he would rip off 12 he would be getting seven last year and you know, part of that's on him getting older and part of that's on the offensive line lack of continuity uh injuries up front as well as i, I think things have changed this year with josh oliver in the mix and as well as uh, cj ham being u- actually utilized more but I'm very confident in you know, the Vikings running back room now with Madison, King Kenne, uh, Ty Chandler, and Dwayne McBride. But, I mean, if you did have Dalvin back, if the price was right, it could make some sense. It could make some sense. And uh, we, we've gotten criticized uh, about this bec- when we put it out there at the time, after they, they cut Dalvin. We said, I mean, there's a possibility that Dalvin could go out and see the market and not get the offers that he's wanted to from the Dolphins or the Broncos or the Jets or whoever, and then decide to run it back with the Vikings at the number that they were initially offering on the pay cut to begin with, because that's the best he can do. Uh, Essentially, that's what happened with Harrison Smith, minus the entire cutting and seeking out the market. Like him and his agent, I'm sure, gauged what they could potentially get and decided to uh, have one last ride with the Vikings. And I think Dalvin and the Vikings... That door's not closed. Like, I think it's a, I still think it's a small chance that Dalvin ends up back in a Vikings jersey this year, but it's not zero. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But again, this was a throwaway line from, from Boomer Sinison. This was not him attempting to break news. This was him just throwing in an aside and talking about Dalvin from the Jets and the Dolphins angle. So that that's what leads me to believe that it potentially could be legit because Boomer has no uh, Boomer has no dog in this fight. Like he has no benefit from breaking news about Dalvin and the Vikings. So we'll see, man. We'll see. It, it is misinformation and disinformation season, but I guess we'll see, man. Anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. The Vikings reportedly have a seven million dollar a year contract offer on the table. For Dalvin Cook, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.